In Catholic theology, we believe that our cooperation is essential for salvation. It is, of course, 100% God's grace, but he still gives us the freedom to resist and reject that grace, or to embrace it and let it permeate our lives. The same is true with our vocations. God has a plan for each one of us, but he gives us the freedom to accept that plan or not. Ultimately, he's the one who knows what is best for us and the salvation of the world. But even once we know God's will, we have to choose to do it. I previously mentioned my mission trip with the Salesians to Panama, but during the training beforehand in New Jersey came perhaps the most important vocational moment of my life. There were several other missionaries in training there, and one girl in particular caught my attention. She was beautiful, funny, smart, and we hit it off right away. Between the training and the summer camp that we were a part of, we spent long hours together for several weeks. Now, I was really confused by all of this. I was in college still, but I, I had broken up with my girlfriend and discerned that God was calling me to celibacy, so I stopped dating at all. But now I could see myself in a long-term relationship with this girl, and it seemed like it might be a good thing. So I'd pray at night, God, don't let me do anything stupid. But then I would spend all day hanging out and flirting with her. And so I was very confused and was begging God for clarity. I was so mixed up and frustrated that one night my prayer almost felt like it was just a grunt. Oh God, what do you want me to do? But all of a sudden, in response, it felt like I was in an open field and could go in any direction, or there were balancing scales before me, and that I heard God say to me, this is your life. You're free to do with it whatever you want. Now, I still knew what God wanted for me, and I still knew deep down that while a relationship with this girl might be fun, it wouldn't satisfy the deepest desires of my soul in the long term. But it changed my response to my vocation. Previously, I was more or less just going along for the ride. Okay, God told me to do this, so I'll do it. But now it became a free act of my will. It was my choice. I want this. I choose it which meant it became an act of love. You can't have a true free act of love without engaging the free will in choosing. So this trial strengthened me because it became both God's will and now my own will too. It certainly took time to get over the emotional attachment to this girl. And since then I've carelessly formed other attachments and faced other trials. But with careful prayer and discernment, each time God has called me back and I've grown in a deeper understanding of myself and my sense of vocation as well. If you're worried about making a mistake in your vocation, entrust it to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through consecration to her and through prayer and the rosary, she who was without sin and always said yes to God will help you to do the same. Next time, we'll see how love is perfected through the cross. But even now, know that if you're having doubts or going through a time of trial, very often God is inviting you to go deeper, to make his will an act of your own choosing so that it becomes an act of love. To the extent that you know God's will, take some time in prayer to intentionally choose to do it and offer it as a gift of love to God. in store